so I'm just making this YouTube video to put up on my little YouTube channel because I would just like to document some of the things that I have been doing with crochet. I really love to crochet and lately I've just been sort of addicted to it. I've been watching a lot of other podcasters on YouTube and I really enjoy seeing everything that people make and I especially enjoy seeing things on video. Uh, it's just so much better than seeing things in pictures and by watching other podcasters videos I've been inspired more to to make more items out of crochet and I just want to kind of just show what I've been making um, I don't know if anybody will ever see it other than me but I like the way it looks on video and so I'm just documenting for myself and whoever else uh, what I've been working on and then I'll give some shout outs to some of the podcasters and people I've been watching where I've been getting in my inspiration from so I'm from California and I'm married and have two kids and four grandkids and I stay at home now and I'm just crocheting like a crazy person. Some of the things that I want to put on here are things that I've made already a while ago. And so, you know, they're probably, everybody's probably seen that already. But anyway, um, the first thing that I made that I really, really love is this guy. This is the No Drama Llama from uh, Yarnspirations. There's a whole video tutorial on how to make this No Drama Llama. He's pretty big. It's a free tutorial on YouTube. And so, yeah, he's so cute. He has all these loops. So basically, you know, you make the front muzzle with single crochets and then at, when you get up here you chain like I can't remember because it's been a long time but chain 10 and then you attach chain 10 attach chain 10 attach and you just keep doing that around and around so his head's a little floppy I could fix it by you know putting a, a long needle and yeah he's so cute I love him I just love him so much. So I made him a while back. And like I said, it's a free pattern on yarnspirations.com and the video tutorial step-by-step -step, how to do it is on their YouTube channel. That's him. And then I've been making, um, I made a top for my my daughter-in-law's sister and she was thankful and she bought me this book I don't know I guess it comes out backwards on here but this is whimsical stitches it's so cute by Lauren Espy it has a lot of cute patterns in here to make amigurumi and I've been doing a lot of amigurumi they're fun. They're super, super cute patterns in here. Um, that's one. Another thing I like to on the YouTube channels are people showing the pattern books because I've bought at least four pattern books in the past two months after seeing um, people on YouTube and what they made. And they don't do justice in the pictures. It's when you see it made up, it's so cute. That's super cute. I think, I don't, let me see. Oh, I made this little pumpkin pie. A little slice of pumpkin pie. Let me see. This one. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't that cute with the little face? Okay, and so I made one. Mine came out a little wonky, but there it is. My little slice of pumpkin pie. It still needs the little cheeks. Let's see. I don't know about this tan color. I probably should have used something lighter, but this was all I had. Hello. And then um, the other thing I made is the coffee cup. This one, the little coffee cup. It's so cute. But I made mine a hot cocoa. I think I saw this on, I can't remember whose channel, maybe um, Mama La Michaela, maybe? She made a coffee cup, but I made mine hot cocoa with marshmallows and a candy cane in it. Isn't that cute? They're so cute. And these are fun. I like to do these in between other things because I have so many things started and these, and I don't finish them. I mean, I do, but they take a long time to finish and these work up really quick. So I feel like a satisfaction that I made something, actually finished it. This, I made this top, oops, this top, this is actually, a square from a tutorial from Yarn Joy podcast where Terry on the jo Yarn Joy podcast made a uh, a tote bag and then I just put all the squares together into a top. So let me see. But it's too big on me. So I started taking it apart. And I was going to just, I think I started, what did I start doing? I haven't finished. I started taking it apart and taking, taking this border off to make it smaller. And then that, I did it on the back and I haven't finished and I don't know what to do with it now. And now it's not hot out so much, so... I didn't really get to wear it this summer. I might have worn it once. I probably should have just worn it big. So that is, um, I don't know where I got the pattern. I mean, I got the pattern for the the square from Yarn Joy Podcast. And then to put it together, I think it was just something from Pinterest. There's like all oh, so many patterns like that online. And then this top I made. Oh, for this one, this is cotton too. I used, you know, this stuff. The, um, what do they call it? Like sugars and cream. So that's what that is. So the cotton, you know, it's cool, but it's a little heavy. But it's okay. I'll probably wear it. If I can fix it better. This top here. This is from a YouTube, a video tutorial from uh, Cinnamon Stitches. And that was super easy to follow. And she has it on there so, you know, you can measure and make sure you, you're making it for your size. And the yarn that I use is this stuff. This is Karen. Karen. It's, um, let's see, what is this? Let's see. It's 60% silk, 30% cashmere, and 10% acrylic. And this color is, what is the color? I don't know like a lavender color. It's lilac something, I remember. I don't see the color printed on here. I used this one and this color and then a deep 
plum, pick a plum color. This one. And for this part, it was a little peach, peachy color. I wore this one a lot this summer because it's, I mean, I probably should wear something under it because you can kind of see through it. But I feel like it doesn't, you can't really tell, like if you wear a dark colored bra, you can't tell. It was nice and cool because where I live, it's hot. It's not too humid here, but it's hot. And I was able to wear it and I was fine. So I had bought this yarn in the beginning to make a, some kind of a shawl wrap that was a tutorial on Craftsy. It's a paid for website where you can, you know, order classes. And I started doing, learning to do this in Tunisian crochet. This is what I was doing with the Tunisian crochet. That's what the yarn was supposed to be for. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, I second guess myself in my color choices a lot. So the way, the way the pattern was, let me see if I have the pattern. It's right here. The colors I chose and the way it works up. <laughs> My daughter said it looked like Halloween. Like, so because she said that, I was second guessing my color choices. And so I just ended up throwing that to the side. And I made this top instead. But I probably still could use, I still have a lot of yarn left to, I could make something else with the Tunisian. Um, and like, uh, I shouldn't have, I should have straightened this out before I, I tried to show it because it's a hot mess. It's all tangled up. Where's the other needle or hook? Uh, I don't know. It's all a big mess in here. But isn't this neat though? Look at it. Like that's the wrong side. Look at that. That's Tunisian crochet on hooks like this with the the wire. I love this. I mean, this would be a beautiful top too, right? But I don't have too many things rolling around in my head that I'm gonna go crazy with all the things that I wanna make. And then I start things and I get sidetracked and I don't finish them, but I'll get back to it. So the other thing that I am making is, where is it? Oh, these squares. I, I wanted to make, oh, hang on a second. Here we go. This, this old, this is a crochet world from August of 2010. That's how long I've had this. And I never, I've never made anything out of it. And I wanted to make this afghan on the front because I thought it was pretty. And of course I changed, I, I've done, I've chosen different colors to do mine. And um, it was, you know, kind of complicated <laughs> to figure out where I'm going to put the darker colors and where to put the lighter colors and figure out how many squares of each color according to their chart. I just, you know, switched their colors for lighter dark colors that I wanted to put. And um, I think I got it figured out. Hopefully it'll come out right. <laughs> so the colors that I chose are... Hang on a second. Okay, here we go. So, um, the colors that I'm going to do are this pink raspberry color and a light pink with this rosy pink and this sage green and... 
can I remember, I think it's like nine colors you're supposed to have. And then this one, which is left over, it's the same color as the No Drama Llama. And then this color, I don't know if you can see all of those colors. Uh, wait, there's more. One more like a white color and then the dark. What do you think? I think it's going to look cool. So I started my little squares and I'm, I'm supposed to have a goal of making two squares a week. And I started this like three weeks ago and I've only gotten three squares done. But this one is a cable. It's gonna look cool. I love how it looks. That one and then this one is the diamond. See it good let me see i don't know if this light is making it worse Pro oh yeah that's worse um i don't know i got all i got kind of off on the stitch count on this and the weird thing about it too is um this doesn't stretch as much this is very stretchy and this is very is more stiff so it's like smaller but i guess if i block it it'll be okay so i have a green a dark green the off white and i have one in the pink so far that's all i've done on that and what else i don't know i just have so many things that i want to make oh I know I saw on, I ha, I bought this book. I think I saw it on um, Chronically Crocheting on her channel. And, you know, I bought the book and I'm looking through it and I'm like, oh, they're cute. There's all kinds of cute things. There's a fox. Amigurumi. Back to Amigurumi now. See, I'm all over the place. I want to make garments and I want I like to do amigurumi I mean I like to do something different isn't that cute little bunny than making afghans because I mean I I crocheted I learned to crochet when I was a kid and I kind of just crocheted you know afghans over the years I never really tried to make garments which is what I really want to do and um but then the amigurumi got popular and the amigurumis are so cute too. Cause you know, I'm tired of making afghans. How many afghans can person use? So anyway, on um, Chronically Crocheting, she made this giraffe in, in like a mustard tweed. And then she put a little scarf. I think it had a scarf on its neck and a, and a beanie. It, it was so cute and that inspired me when you see it on the camera like that i was like okay i have to make that giraffe he's so cute and then i think she showed this bear too and he's cute they just look so much better when you see them i mean it's not in person but it's on camera on video and it looks really good him he's cute this little bear and he's cute and he's pretty big too. Like he's a big, good size. You know, I forget what it says. Does it say how many inches he works up to be? Eight and a half inches tall. Seems like hers was bigger than that. So that, and then this, I saw this book. The crocheted animal blocks, blankets and blocks. I saw this on Mama Lama Kayla's channel and it's super cute too. So I want to make, I thought this is so cute. Look at this. Look at that baby blanket. It's so adorable. 
she has the fox and the kitty. Look at the kitty. So you can, these blocks are pretty big, so you can, you can just put, this one is so cute. Look, look at the teddy bear and the horse. You can use one block in the middle and then do border around for a baby blanket. If you wanted to make it, you know, like a smaller baby blanket, or you can put, I think like four of them together, make a, makes a good sized blanket. There's a bunny. And what else is in here? So cute. Oh, this one. The unicorn. And let's see what else. Oh, the cow. Look at that with the sunflower in his hair. I mean, his hair. <laughs> On his head. Cows don't have hair. Let's see. There's a raccoon, super cute. I like when other YouTubers show books too. And the magazines, the crochet magazines. I like to see that. There's a, a sloth. Don't be a sloth. This is cute. Lamb. What else? Oh, the kitty. The little kitty. So cute. The hippopotamus. The monkey. I'll go back to the hippo. I forget how much I paid for this book. There's the pig. And the panda. I'm thinking I want to do the bear. Oh, the puppy. The dog is cute too. Wouldn't that be cute for my grandsons? Make one with the bears and one with dogs, one for each. If I'll ever get it done. Isn't that cute? I like this because the blocks are big, so you don't have to make that many to get, to accomplish something and actually finish it. This is cute, the penguin. I swear, is it, I don't know. I must be a sl really slow because it seems like people on YouTube that have other channels. How do they get so much stuff done? I can't. I cannot do it. And I'm not... I mean, I have time to crochet, sort of. But I don't know how... It seems like they get so much done so fast. Is it my imagination? Are they really getting that much stuff done? It takes me forever. So then in the back here, this is cute because you could just make a pillow and then you would have something completed. <laughs> Maybe I should start out making a pillow instead. Would that be cute? Oh, that was what Mama Lama Kayla is doing that I thought was a really cute idea is she's making the blanket and then she's making an amigurumi to go with the blanket. And then she mentioned another YouTuber. I'll look and see these these. Um, channels I'm mentioning and link them in the description box um, but the other youtuber and I can't remember her name right now she is doing the the blanket and a pillow to match that's a cute idea too or you could do all three make the blanket and an amigurumi to go with it and a pillow super cute all these hopes and dreams and aspirations. Look at, okay, this one's cute too. I have not made anything out of this. Handmade hugs. This is from Daisy Farm Crafts. Oh, I have made something out of here. I made, and I don't have it 
to show because I gave it away. I made the plaid, the plaid blanket out of here. Where is it? Is it in here? I think I, I don't know if I did it from here or if I printed it, but mine, mine was a uh, cream and a dark teal and a light teal color. And then I made a hat to go with it. I could put a picture in maybe, I don't know, somewhere in here. It came out super cute. Daisy Farm Crafts has really good videos too. I like to follow video tutorials too a lot because, I don't know. When I do follow written patterns, I don't know. My stitch counts get off or I get stuck and... I have to rack my brain to figure out how to do it. And, ugh, I don't know. I guess it just, maybe I don't have enough experience or I don't know if it's me. I've heard other YouTubers say that their stitch counts get off too. Who is it that said that? And I so appreciated hearing her say that because she does beautiful work. It's Blue Eyed Style. Um... Oh, she makes beautiful, beautiful things. Garments, crocheted and knitting. And she said that she doesn't know why her stitch counts always get off. And she has to just kind of do it her own way. And I'm like, that's what I do. I'm not the only one. It's good to know. And then, let's see, what else? What other books? I just, these are all the books that I've been buying. This one I bought too. Baby and Kids Crochet style. I haven't made anything out of here. There's something really cute in here that I thought was super cute. I don't know why I bought this book. Oh, I think I wanted to make a... I was thinking of making one of these for my newborn uh, grandbaby, but he's already getting too big now. I haven't made any... I made him the other blanket. Isn't that cute? A little lion a lion bonnet what's it called yeah lion bonnet mm -mm. this is cute isn't that cute look at that little bear it's a lovey a bear lovey that's really cute this is cute too There's a lot of cute stuff in that book. Many more. This one. This is crochet. Cute crochet critters. And let's see. Have I made anything out of here yet? I don't think so. Look at him. <laughs> so cute. The iguana. Iggy the iguana. And here's Henrietta the Hippo. If I ever make them, I can show them on, on the camera. Here's another giraffe. That's so cute. And an elephant. That's cute. I can't tell you if these patterns are easy to follow or not because I haven't made anything yet. Look at the puppy. See, now that would be cute. If you made the puppy blanket out of that other book, let me see, where is it? Let's see if that would match good. Where's the puppy block? Sorry. Here, puppy, puppy, where are you? Here. Would that be cute? The little puppy, the puppy block, and then do they go together? What do you think? You can make a circle on the eye of this one, maybe, <laughs> or leave the circle off of this one and just make them like the same color. Maybe. That'd be kind of cute. And then let's see. Hey, kitty. And a bear. A 
some alligator. How long can Mr. Alligator Claws can be? Let's see. I always think of a, a song or a nursery rhyme for everything. Let's see. Well, that's that. So those are all my books and all of the things that I am working on. Am I working on anything else? Uh, well, I have some knitting. I'm trying to learn to knit, and that's not going well. The thing about knitting is I don't know how to fix my mistakes. I have to learn to fix my mistakes because it's too frustrating to knit and get so far and then make a mistake or drop stitches and everything, and I don't know how to fix them. With crochet, you just rip it out and crochet it again, but you can't do that with knitting. So I'm... I'm watching videos to learn how to fix it because I can't take the frustration of working on it and getting so far and then having to pull the whole thing out and start over again and yeah and plus okay so I'm left-handed I'm left-handed so uh when I crochet I don't really think it makes that much difference it's just flipped right it's just flipped that's the only difference, right? Instead of going, see, I crochet. Yeah, it would just be flipped. Like a mirror image. I don't know. I just crochet and it comes out. <laughs> but I think I, that's probably, maybe that's why I have trouble reading patterns sometimes because, you know, instead of going one way, it's, it, it's the other way and I can't see it in my mind. I don't know. So anyway, that's all for now. And as I make things, I'm going to keep coming on here and posting them and showing them, even if it's just for myself to have a record. But if anybody's interested and they like it, you know, you could like it, like my channel, subscribe. Hopefully I'll do this again. We'll see. Okay, so bye.